What's going on guys, Zorzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the record breaker card Agrero. The first record breaker in this game and this card design, I actually like it. Now it is a bit of a mess but it all kind of comes together with the colours. But he is 91 overall, 84 pace, 91 dribbling, 92 shooting, 81 passing, 77 physical. Look at that card, all I need to improve is his pace and passing and everything else should be good. Now he is 5 for 8 so he's inside a meta height. High medium work rate, perfect work rate to a striker. Four star weak foot is very nice because I'm going to be able to shoot with that left foot. Uh, the four star skill move is very nice as well. The burble spin should feel good on him and the standing uh, scoop turn should feel very nice on him. Now I did pick this card up for 633k so it's quite expensive compared to 90. I think it's going for around 200. Now 10 chem, engine chemistry style. I mean 90 one acceleration the engine fixes the pace but increases something else that we'll be getting into now one acceleration 86 sprint speed very nice pace it should be outpacing a lot of players uh 95 attacking positioning 95 finishing 90 shot power 85 long shots 86 volleys eight, uh, 84 penalties now finishing wise he should feel very nice but in a not uh, when i was setting out the 90 he couldn't finish or save his life but i think that's towards him not having the finish shot trait or the outside foot shot trait so it kind of gives him a bit, you know, weird animations. Now, he has 92 vision with 92 uh, short passing and 77 long passing with 87 curve. Now, it's very, very rare to find the striker that can actually pass a ball. But Aguero does it like there's no tomorrow. Now, the over-the-tops are not going to be clean with him. But the short passing, okay, the one-twos, the triangle passes should feel very, very nice. 91 agility, 99 balance, 99 uh, reaction, 97 ball control, 99 dribbling, and 93 composure. Dribbling stats are out of this world. He should feel very composed, uh, very agile. Should, shouldn't really take a bad touch with that 97 ball control. He's got that 99 balance as well, so he won't be doing any falling over animations. But this is where it gets interesting. 84 jumping, edge to heading accuracy for a guy that's 5 for 8. He might actually win some headers over like 5 for 10, 5 for 11 players. So that I want to see a little bit. Now, he's got the 82 stamina as well. For a guy that's got that high medium work rate and that pace, I, I think 82 stamina is a bit low. I need him to get a few more upgrades to get that stamina up so this card can be perfect. Now, 77 strength, 67 aggression. He's got decent strength. But the aggression, it just isn't there, is it really? 67, I was more hoping into the 70s. But I do see Aguero as a, a kind of aggressive player in real life as well. Now, I've linked him up with, I think it's Lo Celso and Lionel you know, Messi, obviously. He is on full cam, so it doesn't matter. De Jong, Suzuka, Dembele are also in the likes of the team. I will be using Aguero in a 4-4-2 him up front. And then I'll switch it to a 4-2-3-1 to see if he can play that lone striker role. But let's get straight into these games. Use that Berber spin. Go on, Aguero. Can you get a near post shot? Yes, you can. A beautiful near post shot. Did you see that turn? After doing the Berber spin, he has that acceleration came into play. And there was no chance of that guy catching up to Aguero. Beautiful finish as well. Maybe the defender should have done a bit better there. But I feel like he kind of got attached to Messi. It's beautiful. Can I get a finish? No. He kind of did one of those uh, shooting animations where it takes longer to uh, take a shot. But I hate when players do that. Finesse outside the box. Oh, that's a very, very nice finesse to be fair. Saying that he hasn't got the finesse shot trait or outside foot shot trait. This right here is an amazing finesse shot. Guerrero on the turn. Beautiful turn. Can I get a finish? I feel like he should be finishing those 100%. He did. The guy didn't move the keeper. That should be an easy finish shot into the far corner. Easy top bins. But it just wasn't. Okay, the guy just gave it to us pretty much. <laughs> it was a complete accident. But a girl it just can't with Capo's. Ball rolling the keeper. Easy finish. It's a beautiful pass. Can I get a heel to heel? Little drag back, sending Van Dijk. Oh, just couldn't get the shot. That was good recovery from Van Dijk, though. It's beautiful. Round the corner with the four-star weak foot. 
I honestly think Aguero should be finishing that. That's an amazing angle for him. And I think I'm having the same issues that I had with his like 90 rated where he just couldn't finish. Beautiful pass, scoop turn with the finish, and it's beautiful play. Aguero finally breaks the, like, I don't even know what I'm saying. Like, come on, man. Honest to God, this game has been so irritating. It's crazy. And the fact that Aguero has pulled this, pulled it off this finish, I was expecting him to low-key hit the post. That's just FIFA 20 for you, though. That's a beautiful pass. Through the gap, can I get the finish? And obviously, obviously, AI Virgil is just chilling on the. Ah, that's annoying. It's a beautiful pass. Can I get one more turn? Can I get a finesse? Yes, I can. That's absolutely beautiful from Agrao. What I've noticed that he's finesse shots. You kind of need to put a bit more power than usual. So. I honestly feel like that's kind of why I was missing it a little bit. But that's a beautiful finish. Go on. He's fighting for it. And that's what I love. Now, obviously, the fake run around the corner wasn't the greatest. But look at the commitment. Through the gap. I'm going to hit this first time. Oh, my God. That was so close. With the four-star weak foot, I kind of trusted in it. I was like, hey, why not hit this first time? See if it goes in. That was more, like, I expected it to go a bit further than that. But Jesus Christ. Beautiful pass. Little pass back to him. That's a pen. Ref. Referee. Everything was perfect. Aguero did everything. Literally pinpoint perfect. And the ref's going to shake him. Trust the left foot. There you go. Basically, the guy was reading the right foot all this time. He was forcing me onto his right foot so he can easily read it. I trusted in Aguero's left foot, the four-star weak foot. And he went top. I wouldn't say he went top bins. I would say he was top net, though. It's a beautiful finish. That's beautiful. Can you accelerate past him? Single ball roll. Just to the edge. Can I get a finish? Ah, oh, that's so annoying that I couldn't get a finish there. But it was very nice close quarter dribbling. That's a beautiful, beautiful run. And that's an amazing finish with the weaker foot. I'm starting to enjoy this card much more than a 90. So it's time to review him. But let me say, I didn't actually play six games with him. I played around three to four. People, Some people just left straight off the start. So 91 Aguero. I'm going to say it. He's better than the 90. Okay. At finishing. So much better at finishing. It's ridiculous. Even though the stats might be plus one, plus two. This just compared to what I was struggling with. With the 90. He was missing clear cut chances. And just like hitting the post a lot. This one. He didn't hit the post at all. Clear cut chances were going in. There were some that didn't. But like one on two out of like eight though nine. So I would, I would I'm gonna allow him for that. But the five for eight, beautiful height, high medium work rates, amazing. Now the four star weak foot, I notice a big difference between this, this four star weak foot that on this card and, and the 90 Aguero. And the 90 Aguero, the weak foot was not a four star. But on this card, it's so, so nice. It's pinpoint, literally. It feels like he's shooting with his left foot in a way. No, sorry, his right foot in a way. Now, his four-star skill moves feel very good on him. Now, Aguero's got, kind of got that bulky body in-game. Uh, in so, when you do the burp spin with him, he puts that bulky body in front of the defender, which doesn't allow the defender to get in front of him while doing the skill move, which I enjoyed a lot. His standing scoop turns were so fast. His drag backs were so fast. Now, the skill moves is beautiful. Pace-wise, amazing. Pace-wise is crazy. And, and I do advise to use an engine on this guy because he doesn't need a hunter. If you put the hunter chemistry style on him, that finishing, it doesn't need to go up. Now, the pace obviously needs to go up by a bit, but engine is clearly enough. Now, the, what's called the acceleration of uh, spin speed, amazing. Super fast, got into the right positions. The running fake shot was beautiful on him. Finishing-wise, amazing. Now, the, the fact that this guy doesn't have the finish shot trait and he has a finish shot trait and his finish shot is that good... It's crazy to see. Now, he's finishing unbelievable. Passing-wise, amazing. 
One of the best striker passes I've ever seen. Just short passing, one twos were beautiful. And you know, usually the top tip, the top tip, the most sort of people rage because strikers can't really pass. When the ball gets to them, they just pass and it just goes some literally fluky pass that goes away from your own player. But Aguero doesn't do that, and that's what makes him separate to all the other strikers. Agility. Now, this is why I said you need an engine on this guy. Because the agility goes up it, um, by a huge amount. And it's crazy to see. Because the agility on this card is so nice. The fact that he was doing the ball rolls was so fast. The drag backs were so fast. And that all comes down to his agility, his ball control, his dribbling, everything. It's just amazing. The fact that the way this guy feels on the on the ball, it's out of this world. Now, the stamina-wise. Now, he did die near the 80th minute, so you have to take that into account that you might be obviously getting a super sub, also known as probably, I don't know, a lot of people have Kent that vote to the final card. So, maybe he will probably be the best uh, super sub for Aguero. Strength-wise, he was strong. I didn't see him weak at all. Now, the 77 strength, I would expect him to shoulder budge some players, but I didn't expect him to do what he actually did. He was a very, very nice card. Now, the aggression... He was fighting for the ball. He was fighting for the badge. He really, really wanted to get that ball. Now, if we were comparing this card to the Scream card, the Scream card does have more pace. So, I would advise going for the Scream card. But a Scream card is so expensive. And this card, I picked up for 620, 633k. But he's probably going for around 600k right now because I bought this like an hour ago. But... Is it more worth it upgrading to that screen card? No, because the screen card is worth so much that you're wasting so many coins just to have a little bit more pace. So if you guys are going to get an Aguero, 100% get this card. But I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I liked him a lot. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. But the reason he doesn't get a 10 out of 10 is because I would love Aguero to have an outside foot shot trait. I will love him. And if he didn't, if he had the outside foot shot trait... It's a 10 out of 10. I really enjoy this card. This card's a top tier card. I can see I can see pros using this card 100 percent But if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment. But for now, peace.